Hi guys, this is Wisely Laser Service Group. We'd like to give you a brief introduction on how to use rotary. The using of the ring rotary and cup rotary is basically the same, so we will use the cup rotary as a reference. Let's get started. Step 1. We want to center the laser for good engraving performance. We can clamp a metal rod on rotary after well place it. Then we need draw a straight line in the software and press F1 to preview the position. After aligning the center of the metal rod with the red light, we can fix the rotary with screws. You can also use other objects to fix the rotary. Once its position cannot install screws, Step 2. Find the right focal length. We can measure the diameter of Yeti cup and load it to rotary first. After fixing the Yeti cup, we can adjust the focus to the motorized Z-axis. Move the Z-axis up and down. When the two points coincide, it is the right focal length. Step 3. Horizontal alignment. We need to keep the Yeti cup level to ensure consistent performance on the engraved surface. Put a spirit level on the water cup and loosen the direction screw. Then we can adjust the angle of the rotary. Slowly adjust the Yeti cup to level and refix the screw. Step 4. Setting in the software. Import the pre-made logo or pattern into the software. Select it and modify the hatch setting and the parameter setting. Since we place the rotary along the x-axis, we need to rotate the pattern by 90 degrees. Then adjust the pattern to where you want it. Click on laser split mark 2 to enter rotary marking mode. Enter the measured cup diameter in part diameter and y mean the distance per rotation of rotary. Click red to review the marking area, then press ESC on the keyboard. Click mark to start engraving. Our machines will calibrate all the parameters well before shaking, except the direction X, Y. Usually no need the change related parameter. The steps for fit map rotary marking will basic same with vector. The only difference is how to adjust the image parameter. Import the fit map, rotate it 90 degree, adjust the laser parameter set by step. When fit map engraving, the laser will change the power according to the gray scale of the image. The higher the gray scale value, the higher the power. We can adjust the details of the engraving by adjusting the brightness and the contrast of the picture. Also, after you fill in part diameter and Y, you can click F2 to start rotary engraving. In daily use, some problem may occur when rotary marking. Below are two common problems and their solutions. Problem 1. There are obvious gap or overlap during engraving. Please confirm the part diameter is right at first, and you can modify it in the laser. Split mark, part diameter. If there are still gaps or overlaps during engraving, even if the diameter is filled correctly, you can find scale compensation in parameter. Increase this number to eliminate gaps and decrease this number to eliminate overlaps. This requires multiple tests to get the suitable setting. After correction, you can get good engraving. Problem 2. The laser engraves only in a small area and the pattern is totally wrong. Please check ID in the laser, split mark, parameter. When the rotary placed along x-axis, ID is set to Y, and if the rotary placed along y-axis, ID should set to X. 
You can also refer following picture for ID setting. Our rotary cam is two sets of jaws for different parts. And there are numbers on the inside of the jaw and on the rotary. We just need to install the jaws into corresponding slots. Turn the key counterclockwise until the number 1 jaw successfully snap into the slot. Then turn the key clockwise. The jaws are installed correctly.